Open sourcing the mirror. We're super excited to give you our full source code MIT license so you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Right now, if you build into another platform like Roblox, like UEFN, then you are forever locked into that platform. You don't fully own it, and you very well could get the rug pulled out from under you. And we've seen this recently happen, where Unity suddenly changed the pricing model on everyone. Now, people have been flocking to Godot, which we're extremely sad to be building on because you actually get to own your data. If you're building on a platform like Roblox, you do not own the full engine, you don't own the full stack platform, you're at the whim of whatever they choose to do. Same goes for Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Obviously, same goes for Unity. But every other area of software isn't like that in many ways. You can actually own what you're building because you can own the underlying software. Like if you're building something with Node.js or React, for example, you own that underlying software. Not the case with game dev. Reason being, of course, is that game dev is so complicated. While Unity, Unreal, they're about both two decades old, we're super proud to be building on Godot but it's a decade old. That's, that's how complex game development is, of course. And this leads to a second part of the problem in that game development is stupid complex. And then, of course, the web development side is also very complex, such so that when you specialize in one, there's often not much crossover, but that's what you need to actually create a platform like Roblox, Unreal Editor for Fortnite. These are all-in-one platforms. And so we have an amazing open source game engine with Godot, but if you want to go into 3D multiplayer with physics, there's a lot you've got to do, especially on the multiplayer side to get all of that set up. And so we're giving it to you for free. We want you to build awesome stuff with it. We want to make help you make games much more quickly, but also for not just the why, but the, the why behind it is because we believe that gaming is the frontier of content creation. Every other medium has largely been conquered. Text by X slash Twitter, photos by Instagram, videos by TikTok and YouTube. Gaming is untapped in a sense of the creator economy. We're starting to see a lot of that with Roblox and UEFN. Again, these being the all-in-one platforms that we're an open source alternative to. Yet, there's no way to actually fully own what you're doing. Of course, if you make a video and put it on YouTube, then you own that video. If you make a game and put it on Roblox UEFN, you do not fully own that. You own some of it, but you do not own the full engine. And so the only way to do this approach is by building on an open source engine. So we're super proud to be releasing that into the wild. Uh, we'd love for you to build with it. It comes with a lot of great features that we added uh, with our app that expose functionality like runtime asset streaming to authentication to databases, net sync, no code, visual scripting, medium code, in-world GD script, out of the box, jolt physics, out of the box, player controllers, first person, third person, VR ready. So you can build pretty much whatever you want. Ready player me characters, damage handlers, pub sub variable updates, persistent data storage, the list goes on. Oh, and an integrated asset pipeline with the marketplace as well. That's just on the Godot side because that's already a lot to do. And so of course the full stack side of this is you need a web server. I'm a web developer by trade. I think Nest.js is probably the best thing that happened to Node.js since Express. Of course, it's built on TypeScript as well. So you get a fantastic backend framework and that's what plugs in and gives you everything you need for the multiplayer side of your full stack application. Authentication, again, databases with MongoDB, also open source, Mongoose for schemas, minimal migration headaches. You get everything else like the automatic HTTP requests out of the box with controllers. You get WebSockets with gateway functionality. You get open API Swagger documentation on top of that. And it's super modular as well. You also get PubSub real-time updates with Redis. So it's everything you need to build a fantastic game out of the box. And then all of this, of course, goes back to the no-code side. And so we're giving you all this stuff on open source, but we're still pushing our full app out there that will launch on a store eventually, where you can still build full games, even if you've never written a line of code in your life. But if you're an expert dev, we'd absolutely love for you to contribute. No one else is really doing this. And this is part of the reason we started The Mirror, actually, is because I was, I will, long story short, I built it on my business in the virtual world of Second Life as a kid and got my 3D models stolen. And I was like, what the heck? What do I do here? Do I like file a DMCA claim as a 14 year old? Like, no. And so I just kind of, that was the end of my online business. And so I've been thinking about building a full platform like it. And not in the sense of like, you know, Second Life had its very, you know, it, its type, style, aesthetic, but it's very much a game development platform that was ahead of its time. Reason being, or how they do it, was everything was in real time. I love the movie Inception, where they're like sitting at the cafe and everything just starts changing around them as they're creating the world in real time. And that's the exact same type of experience that we want to capture when you build in the mirror. 
everything is done in real time. It's an open secret, quote unquote, that Godot is actually, the, the Godot editor is actually built on top of Godot. And so that was a key architectural reason that we were so excited to do this with, um, well, to take the mirrors approach to, to, excuse me, take real time development, but with Godot, reason being, of course, we can do that empowered by Godot because Godot is, uh, has much runtime functionality to it in the same way that the Godot editor is just editing a Godot application. So huge thank you to the Godot co-founders and to the Godot contributors. And um, so we're super excited to be building on top of that. With that, uh, so we have a lot of cool stuff in store. We're excited to give this out. And we, we believe we're really one of the only ones doing this out there. Um, so it's been a labor of love, a lot of work, a lot of late nights working on this, a lot of midnight oil burned. We've been working super hard. And we'd love for you to join the movement. We want to give you freedom to own in the next step of the internet. With that, thank you so much for your time. And hopefully we'll see you in the mirror.